What's going on, guys? Thank you so much for your love and support. So let's go ahead and get into the vibrations, boo. So the song that we have today that was sent in is Just Like Magic. So let's go ahead and get the vibrations from this song. Okay, so this is definitely that energy of planting the seed. Now, you could definitely be called to manifestation. You could be doing um, manifestation work. For some of you guys, okay, I'm hearing sigils, geometric shapes. So some of you guys, you are working on your abilities to manifest the things that you truly desire. I also feel as if, okay, so good karma coming your way. So there are some blessings that you're receiving I also feel that for some of you guys, you could be doing a lot of writing during this time. So this could be you writing down the ideas that you have, okay, putting it on pen and paper in order for it to manifest. I also feel as if there's this energy of schedule. So you're needing to keep a schedule. Um, for some of you guys, you're needing to stay on schedule also. Okay, so I also feel as if, huh, just like, just like that. Something happened, something good. Okay, some seeds that you planted in the past. These are good seeds. This is good soil. Things are growing from this. Okay, so just like magic. Tell me more. Now, I do feel as if for some of you guys, you may also end up manifesting someone from your past, but this is a thing. Love don't live here anymore. Okay, your feelings may have changed for an individual or for um, something that you truly desire. By the time something manifests, something comes around, um, by the time you get something that you've been asking or even waiting for, for some of you guys, you may not want that. You may um, change the goal and you may want something different. I also see diamonds. Okay, but diamonds are produced through the pressure. So for some of you guys, baby, you a diamond in the rough. You may have experienced a rough time. You may have been experiencing a lot of pressure. You could have even felt like you were up under some type of pressure, even if this was um, pressure that you have placed upon oneself, that Ten of Wands energy, where you set certain expectations of yourself, certain goals, and there's a desire to meet these goals in a certain time frame. Now, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with somebody who's around 26 or the number 26 could be significant or even the 26th of the month. But I feel like communication will be significant. I also feel like the month of August could be significant. So I don't know if the last time you heard from someone, it was in August. Okay, I also heard the magic that was done in August. So if you keep track, if you um, journal or write down the spiritual work that you do i feel as if something that you may have asked for in august may be manifesting also there's some type of communication um and this communication could also be from somebody that you haven't heard from in a while for some of you guys okay i keep hearing tribe so this could be your soul tribe but i also feel as if this could be um i hear indian Somebody is in search also of their soul tribe. Somebody has an A, first, middle, last, initial. Okay, but love don't live there anymore. Even though you still have love for someone, um, and that kind of contradicts the song, love don't live there anymore. So you may have mixed emotions. Parts of you may love something about an individual. You may love something about the work that you do. You may love something about um, your situation. But deep down inside, somebody knows that something is missing. Love, It's like love really don't live here anymore. Now, somebody could also be living with an individual that 
those feelings um, of love, of admiration, of seeing myself growing with you or taking things to the next level could have definitely changed. And I also feel like this could even be for a friendship. It doesn't have to necessarily be for a love relationship. But somebody is definitely cutting their eyes at an individual. Somebody could be born in the month of June. Okay. Hmm. So somebody is looking at, this could be, um, or taking some pictures. I also feel like somebody may be keeping their thoughts to themselves. Somebody also... Somebody's looking back at a time where maybe they felt catered to. Okay. I also heard somebody is um, putting on. This could also be for the camera. Shorty got her eyes on me. So somebody is definitely looking at an individual's pictures and they like, look, this is where I want to be. And you could be in a position in life where somebody truly wants to be there. Okay. Now, there's some deception. And I feel like the individual may know deep down inside this could even be self-deception. The individual knows deep down inside um, the truth. But I feel as if either somebody may be lying to themselves or somebody is wanting to um, just tell me a lie. Somebody is afraid that the truth is too unbearable or the truth is going to be too hard to digest. Somebody would rather live a lie. Um, somebody would even rather live in their lie than to accept the um, harsh reality or the truth of the situation. But I feel like once an individual decides to be honest with themselves, they're going to see a silver lining in their situation, especially a masculine energy. This is a masculine energy who may be um, being deceptive with himself. Now, I also feel like somebody may even lie about doing some type of magic. Hmm. Mm hmm Just like what the song was, just like magic, love don't live here no more. I walk. Okay, so somebody could also be doing love magic. Somebody knows that an individual's feelings may have changed. And somebody could be trying to hold on to a connection with magic. But I feel as if um, you're resistant to it. You may kind of feel like, you know, look, I'll always have some type of love um, for you. But somebody's not in love with the individual. Mm -hmm. Somebody is lying. Somebody um, could have a baby that has a B or a G, first, middle, last, initial. Your child could. Okay, so you definitely need to watch out for somebody. And this could even be what an individual is willing to do to hold on to someone. Mm-hmm. Somebody's also going to end up getting caught up in some type of lie. And I feel like this is because the individual is being very observant during this time. Now, for some of you guys, there could be a masculine energy who may be trying to hold on to an individual through um, love work, love magic. Mm -hmm. Somebody's ex can't say something for the first time like that. Whoever this person is, they're speechless. Okay, somebody is like, ain't no man worse, honey, than the one you got. Somebody could be changing their number or somebody could be using their sibling's phone to call you or somebody's brother could call you. Okay, these, these two siblings work together. They may literally work with each other or um, they work together. I heard with their schemes. Mm -hmm. Okay, reputation. Okay, their rep this could be popular individuals. Okay, the number, uh, somebody could have a three or four phone number, age, date of birth, or the fourth could be significant. There's going to be some type of transformation that's taking place. Okay, and who getting mad that an individual is getting rich? Okay, somebody has some lessons 
to learn still somebody is still awakening to the plot twist so um this is just the beginning of a story that is unfolding but there's a plot twist mm -hmm. let's find out what the plot twist is Whatever the plot twist is, somebody is definitely going to put their phone on do not disturb. They don't want to talk to people. They may, um, they may even like take down their social media accounts and cry, honey. Somebody is going to cry. Somebody is crying about the money. And this is because they can't replace what was lost or what was spent. Yeah, it's a plot twist. I also feel like somebody could have also been enjoying um, or celebrating in another person's pain. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, Lord, what message do you have? Somebody's in some shit. Look at this. Somebody's playing games. Serenity the Schemer. Now, this is somebody who's two-faced. This is somebody, again, who they be putting on. This is somebody who likes to be seen. This is someone, um, whether they are loud verbally, they may be loud with their actions, the things that they do. Um, it speaks volumes, but this is also someone who's a shapeshifter. This is the type of individual that when they with you, honey, you the best thing since sliced bread. Okay, they love you. They're very, th this person could be very nice, very generous. They do stuff for you. They'll buy stuff for you. But then this is the same type of individual that they will get around another group of people and they'll talk about you. This is also somebody who will set you up. This is also somebody who will do anything for money. This is the type of individual who could be paid to put on, to cause a scene. But I also feel like um, the plot twist. The plot twist in this situation is that while these individuals are celebrating, celebrating trying to cause somebody else some type of pain, um, especially if somebody did that by the use of magic, this individual is just at the beginning phases of what's about to transpire in their life. The mask that this person wears will come down. This individual um, will begin to lash out on other people. Um, you may see this person, it's kind of like a personality disorder, or you may see this individual one minute they are really excited when individuals are doing things for them, giving them gifts, um, when they are drinking, or when they are up under any type of chemical substance this person is like yes okay they are excited they're the life of the party when this person becomes upset um, when things don't go their way they tend to lash out on other individuals i also feel as if in this situation the truth will be exposed by way of the individual's actions by the things that the individual may say or do this is the type of person who will point the finger at other people and accuse other people of doing the very things that this individual um, may be doing or has done okay so this person plays a lot of games now, as the story unfolds, this individual, they're going to start experiencing um, a lot of spiritual, supernatural, um, spiritual events. Okay, somebody may even have ancestors in their home. Somebody could even be dealing with sleep paralysis feeling as if someone's watching them when they sleep, monitoring spirits. This person could also be connected to a karmic partner. This person was used to playing games, but once God gets a hold of them, they are gonna be a Bible toting Scripture quoting 
want to be saved, transformed um, individual. But it's the games that the person plays. And it's not until they come up against a spiritual person, um, a true divine being, a, a chosen one, as some would say, that God gets a hold of them and turn their life inside out and upside down. This is the type of person who will claim one set, claim one person, um, but then will turn on them. Mm -hmm. And they're going to eventually turn on all of the individuals, all parties involved in the situation. So if this is somebody who um, they're very two-faced, they smile at you, smile in your face, but then this person stabs you in your back for a little bit of nothing, for a little fame, a little recognition, whatever the case may be. The person that they teamed up with, they're gonna end up getting into a conflict with that person. Mm -hmm. Chow. And honey, you're going to definitely have some screenshots. God is going to give you a front row seat to some bullshit. Mm -hmm. To this person's um, demise, to this individual's outburst. Mm -hmm. You may even do some screen recording. This person likes to put on for social media, okay? Homicide. Don't die before you're dead. Could, um, California was about to come out. Detroit could be significant. Okay, baby, you got a fresh start. You have a transformation. Something is coming to an end. This individual, you may also... It could be online. You may get wind of somebody that was playing with magic and may have transitioned. Now, this individual, the beginning song is just like magic. And this Serenity the Schemer, this chick, and it can be a dude, but this chick, she ended up doing some um, black magic and ended up killing her. She did black magic, threw it on individuals, uh, but the individuals were protected and it ended up killing her, her cousin's only daughter. Okay. Somebody is being, could, that could even be being charged with a spiritual homicide. Y'all coming out like that with the Just Like Magic? All right, Ariana Bell Grande. Gonna sit her ass down. But you have a fresh start. You may be curious as to if you see something, um, you get wind of some information. You're going to be curious as to not, as to whether or not your ancestors had anything to do with this. Confirmation is yes. Mm -hmm. You have a fresh start. You're going through a transformation. And somebody that may have been causing you problems, if somebody was doing any type of magic towards you, this person may experience a homicide in their family or a passing of someone, then it could be the passing of someone, but the person would be charged with spiritual homicide. <clears throat> this person may have some um, throat chakra issues.
Okay. That is crazy. So somebody could have a D or B person in the last initial. I heard D, B, you're dead. Hmm. Somebody could have had like some chicken wings. Black crows will be significant. But somebody was like before you did. Okay, so I'm hearing a conversation. Uh-huh. Somebody like, be you. Somebody keeps telling the individual you are. Hey. Four of Pentacles. Holding back, holding on to things. Feeling like there's not enough. Hmm. Queen of Cups, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You know this person is keeping something? A secret? Your intuition may be telling you this. Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords. Okay. Could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Who's trying to hold on to a Queen of Swords? Okay, you have an Earth sign, King of Pentacles. Be careful of somebody trying to hold on to you because of your financial success, what you're able to provide. Ace of Cups, new love. So you have new love coming towards you. Somebody has a W first on the last initial. Hmm. Somebody was holding back their emotions. Holding back how they feel. Somebody wants to cut. Okay, somebody want to cut somebody. Okay. Somebody want to hold on to somebody after they cut them off. You may not trust what this person's offering you. Somebody could want to go out for drinks. Somebody could have cut their hand. Somebody was talking, um, somebody was real reckless. Somebody could have been talking bad about you in the past or about the past or your past. Somebody could be 41. <clears throat> April 1st could be significant. Somebody is having a hard time remembering something. Somebody could be brain dead. Ten of Cups. But why are you happy? <coughs> That's Eleven Cups. Somebody offers an individual one of their cups. They're like, look, I got more than enough to give. Let me give you a cup. I see somebody holding on to a new relationship that makes them happy. You're protecting your new beginnings. Okay, go into the homicide card. Ten of Swords. Okay. This could be a stabbing. Somebody could have even felt backstabbed, betrayed. This could be a friend. And there's sirens. Some somebody's friend could have harmed them. Go into the Ten of Swords. Somebody could have died defending somebody. I also feel as if a crossed over loved one, this person could have been killed in a homicide. This person is protecting you. You can see 1010 as confirmation. Huh. 
huh? Go into the Seven of Wands. Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could also be um, someone's mother or friend. This is somebody who's intuitive, but if this person is blocked, somebody could also be blocked intuitively because of a spiritual homicide. Somebody was defending someone's honor. <clears throat> Go into Serenity the Schemer. Okay, so you're no longer being mentally exhausted by this situation. You figure something out. Five of Cups. And somebody regret a mind games. Like, they may regret that. This made you mentally stronger. Dealing with this type of individual. Okay, this person is up under judgment for lying. Constantly lying. Lying about their stability. Lying about how strong they are. Okay. This person is taking their time. Somebody, uh, for some of you guys, this could be coming towards you. Especially if somebody owes you an apology. Go into this Queen of Swords. Okay, so the Moon card. Okay, are you worried? You need to look at your dreams, review a dream journal, pay attention to the dream state. Could be dealing with a cancer. Somebody is a, um, a June Gemini. Could be born on the 18th. Somebody is a Libra born around October 18th, give or take seven days. Somebody's a cusper. Some this could be a um, yeah, a cusper. Okay, go into this moon card. You may end up missing your menstrual cycle around the full moon or in April. Go to this Queen of Swords. What you worried about? Okay, a judgment, a decision. Okay. Could be dealing with a Libra, Scorpio. You made a decision, a judgment. And this could be blindly. Something could have been hidden. Okay, these are two major arcanas. Okay, somebody's worried about their decisions. Go into this judgment. Okay, you could also be having dreams about your past life. Somebody could also be causing you anxiety. You got to let go of your fears and worries. You need to be assertive when it comes to making a decision, a judgment call. Okay, because somebody is extending this cup of love to you. I told you, you, you in your head. Somebody's in this mental prison. Could even be spiritual prison. I t I'm telling you. Somebody's charged with like spiritual homicide. Somebody could be a Sag. Dealing with the Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Okay, you could be worried about like what decision the ancestors are going to make when it comes to, and this, it may not even be you in spiritual jail. You could see 818.
Okay. So you could be a queen of swords and you are worried wondering whether or not you're going to receive some type of like justice you could want somebody to go to jail like you're waiting for the spiritual realm to make a decision and they're telling you to be patient but you all up in your head what are you being patient for and worrying. Okay. You're receiving messages pertaining to like a spiritual Judas or a Judas. You may also be receiving messages and you're not really sure what to do with them. Like you could even be questioning your spiritual team. Like, okay, well, what do you want me to do with these messages or downloads that I'm receiving? They have you in your head. But your spirit team, they're communicating with you. And you're worried. They may even be telling you that this person is going to offer you a cup of love. Go into that homicide with this Queen of Cups. Somebody, okay, they were, they could be claiming self-defense. You could be trying to protect your mother. This person is worried they can't sleep at night. They're worried about how something ended, how they ended things. Somebody's trying to protect their emotions. Okay, so this person has been receiving communication. This could be in the dream state. This is somebody who's intuitive, okay? Nine, eight, okay, nine, eight. So September... October, August, July could be significant. But you have 7, 8, 9, 10. This person is being led in the right direction. You could be um, being led in the right direction. But the Queen of Cups is worried. What is the Queen of Cups worried about? What is this communication? Okay, Five of Pentacles with the Magician. Somebody was trying to turn something into nothing. This person could be worried. Um, somebody left somebody like out the loop when it comes to like some information being shared. Somebody may also be finding out like, okay, if this person did some type of spiritual work, it may not be working. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Could be dealing with a Virgo, a Gemini. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Destiny is at play. Uh-huh, it's time to grow up. Ooh, baby. This whole situation just turned. Somebody that manifested the wrong thing. They could manifest some type of temptation in their life. The devil. Um, somebody, this is somebody who manifests in secret. Somebody could have also met up with a practitioner this person could have worked with a practitioner because they couldn't do something they self where is this wheel going knight of pentacles something is going to take some time mm -hmm. Things will level out in this situation, but it's going to take some time. Lovers, bottom of the deck, you have a fresh start. Okay, somebody wants, this person could want to take you out, want to do something. Don't be no fool, child. Hmm. Okay, but this is up here. This is with the homicide. 
somebody is worried, they claim to be defending somebody or taking up for somebody, I don't think that that's the whole, you know, story. Go into that. Okay, so the real. Go into this uh, Queen of Cups. So somebody met a spiritual prophet. Um, this could be online. Could have seen somebody's like, page profile. Somebody paid for something. But they got blocked. What? Oh, somebody met a fake ass reader. Or somebody got taken for some money. So if this person tried to pay for some type of spell work, what was the scheme? If they were trying to pay for some type of spell work, they were led to an individual who may have taken their money and then blocked them. Could have even blocked them financially. Who is this? Um, show me Serenity the Schemer. The Journey. I told you, this is just the beginning of the person's journey when in bottom of the deck spell work. Come on, baby. Yep. Okay, go into this high priestess. Faith. This person's faith. Pregnancy in reverse, so there's no conception. Somebody may also um, be infertile. Somebody's not fertile. Ancestor message. That's law. Somebody is in their feelings. Somebody is not on fertile soil. Somebody could be trying to have a child and they may be having issues having children or struggling to have kids. Okay, you notice a trend with this person. A habitual liar. You, so you start to notice how this person begins to act when it comes to um, them lying about stuff. Like this could be an individual scratching their back of their head. They get nervous, start pacing the floor like, oh, look, I know you lying. Okay, go into this queen of, of swords. Okay, so gang stalking a kitchen witch. This person could be a holistic healer, a shaman. This person could also be being gang stalked and that could be causing some anxiety. Okay, if you're an air sign, somebody could be gang stalking you and it got you all up in your head. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, there's some manipulation. Somebody's got a crush on an individual, but they acting fake as hell. Hmm. Somebody could have also manipulated the individual's um, emotions. Mm -hmm. Not having good karma. Whoever is gang stalking, they're not having some good karma. Karma's kicking their ass. If you're a queen of swords and you gang stalking somebody, karma's kicking your ass. If somebody is gang stalking you, karma's gonna kick their ass. Who's trying to hold on to somebody, pulling on their energy, asking questions about them? You already know this, a spiritual altar, and you have your intuition is on point when it comes to somebody using a spiritual altar. Mm -hmm. So if you suspect that somebody was utilizing spell work, you may be on point. You could probably feel that somebody's like trying to pull cards on you. Trying to see if you belong to them. I'm going to that Queen of Cups and that um, Homicide. Twin Flame Love. Wow, somebody tried to kill their Twin Flame. Now, ain't that some shit? How you gonna, somebody tried to, uh, somebody could have committed like a spiritual homicide against their Twin Flame. Somebody tried to kill their twin flame. This person, if this person is dealing with a karmic, 
they karmic could even have them trying to kill their twin flame like oh baby it's me and you and we supposed to be together no this person killed they fucking twin flame We gave them the wrong downloads and messages to confuse them, babble brain. So this person went to a practitioner. Didn't I tell you they got over on them? They went to a practitioner that they met online and the, your spiritual realm, your spiritual realm, the spiritual team gave this individual the wrong message. It makes me think of Jehoshaphat's victory. And we're going to talk about that on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So just a little brief synopsis of that story um, there was a deceptive spirit that was sent out amongst the prophets to deceive individuals um, to get them or like lure them to get them to wage war or go into war with someone but Jehoshaphat ends up winning so we'll talk about that on Sunday okay but that's what this is this person ends up meeting somebody getting the wrong messages Somebody killed a twin flame. And somebody like, hell nah, boo. Yes, uh-huh. Okay. Wow. But this is the thing. Killing your twin flame or trying to kill your twin flame is like killing the part of yourself. Okay. One month could be significant. Ancestor T, we fucked them up on your behalf. So your ancestors are going to fuck this person up on your behalf, baby. Confirmation will be 111 when you see new fat, new fast. Okay, somebody could be fasting. New paths unfold. Go into this Queen of Swords. Okay. If Toxic had a face, it would be them. Mm -hmm. They want a relationship with you. Okay. Somebody went to a spiritual jail for what they have done. Okay. Compliment yourself on a daily basis. You are your validation. It's their spiritual team blocking you. So this person is blocking their own twin flame. What kind of shit. Your spiritual team turned on you. Okay. So spiritual team could have turned on you. Queen of Swords energy. Mm hmm they thought about you all chilling with someone else. All right, boo. Thank you so much for your love and support. Have a wonderful, wonderful night.